When we think of retro bikes in the modern day and age, we think of the Japanese, we think of the Americans, we think of the UK, we think of the Italians, we think of us Indians. But that's because we've got so much history and pedigree behind those bikes. And we also have a customer base that likes to reminisce on the roots of those bikes themselves. But what about a brand new company, something with no pedigree or history to fall onto? Sounds odd, doesn't it? Well, that's the case in India right now with the single cylinder retro bike segment. This is the newest entrant to that specific segment, the QJ Motor SRC 500. And today we're going to talk all about it. Welcome to The Driver's Hub. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and you're watching The Driver's Hub. When it comes to the design of the SRC 500, it looks awfully similar to the Benelli Imperiale 400, but that's because it's based out of it. From the front, you get these new 9-spoke alloy wheels, these massive headlamps and indicators. You've also got this dual uh, digital cluster with speedometer, odometer and gear indicator, a 15.5 liter teardrop style uh, tank that's super classy, a blackout engine casing, a very nice stainless steel side swept exhaust, padding on the seats and a massive rear fender to make the bike look like a big sportster. So it definitely does look the part, but does it sound the part? Take a listen. The Indian car market is in a pretty peculiar spot right now. You don't want to buy a first-hand car and take that hit of depreciation and you don't want to do the labor of finding a clean second-hand car and then taking it to a workshop and then bringing it back to that perfect showroom condition that you've always wanted. Well, what if I told you that TDH Classifieds has got you covered now? These three cars are our own inventory cars and we've done our due diligence in bringing them to that showroom condition that you've always wanted. So all you've got to do is enjoy the showroom experience that we provide and drive your car off worry-free. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to thedriversup.com slash TDH classifieds and get yourself the car of your dreams. The biggest differentiating factor between the Imperiale 400 and this SRC 500 is the block. It's now got a 480cc single cylinder, 35 bhp, 36 newton meter torque block that has a 5 speed gearbox and the tall gearing ratio that I have actually really enjoyed riding in this bike. The power delivery is slightly on the old school side and 25 bhp from such a big block doesn't seem that impressive nor does the 36 newton meters of torque but it does give you a very good experience especially when you match it with that exhaust note Now, talking about the rider's triangle, it does feel pretty nice, but there could be a couple of changes that would make it even nicer. Now, let's start from the good stuff. The tank holds your thighs in, uh, gives you really good space to hold your thighs in really nicely, but I would prefer it if you could have gotten a pair of tank pads for a little bit of extra support. The foot pegs are in a slightly awkward position where your uh, calves and your uh, front uh, shins get quite a lot of pressure while riding and I would have preferred them to be a little bit further ahead into uh, the body but the handlebars are fantastic they're not that leaned in and committed that you would be having a backache but they're not that far relaxed that you would be feeling like not being able to ride it in slower traffic in fact it is perfect for you to be able to move around and have a lot of leverage up on top which I found it to be really nice. I'm a 5'10 something person and uh, this uh, slightly committed uh, 
position makes me feel very confident on top but I would expect this to be a bit too cramped for someone who's taller than me apart from that the seat is also really comfortable and the padding is actually quite nice but it keeps you in a really further back position where you actually do have to commit and lean ahead. A shorter rider would have to lean and commit a bit more towards this bike because of the length of the tank. Otherwise, pretty comfy bike to ride but as a cruiser, could have been a bit more comfortable. Coming to riding and overall comfort, the, the engine is quite peppy and delivers quite a bit of power, resulting in a few happy instances on one wheel. Other than that, it loses out on the confidence to go faster courtesy of the brakes and tyres, which don't do the motorcycle any justice. This is something that has always bothered me when the subpar brakes rob the motorcycle of so much in terms of confidence. No matter how wonderful a motorcycle's engine is, one can only push it as far as the brakes are capable of bringing it to a halt. In this case, the brakes on the SRC500 feel wooden and lack bite when applied. The dual channel ABS feels non-existent and I did feel the rear lock up upon hard braking in some cases. That is another thing that has been noticed to apply across the spectrum of these QJ motorbikes. The ABS calibration tends to be either non-existent or extremely intrusive in some cases. There seems to be no decent middle ground. I would also suggest curbing one's enthusiasm before hurtling into a corner, lest one acquires a taste for gravel. The gearbox could also do with a bit of refinement as it does feel rather clunky at times. All this said, it is not a bad motorcycle, it is just that it tends to misbehave at times. And it depends on the kind of rider who will take it upon themselves to get it in line and make it do what it's asked of it. Then again, it is a decent motorcycle for more laid-back riding with good riding ergonomics and more than enough grunt in the mill for short instances of excitement. Considering our Indian mind's fixation with old is gold, bringing a retro-style cruiser bike in India is a very good idea. Maybe QJ Motors have thought of the highly competitive segment that is this single-cylinder retro bike segment but we're going to have to wait and see how the sales figures show and the other reviews show of how this fares with all of the other bikes that have this rich history and pedigree. If you're considering a cruiser bike, definitely go to a showroom and check out the QJ Motors SRC500 because it is a breath of fresh air. But how is it going to fare against those bikes? We're only going to have to find out later on. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Bhavneet. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.